The following question states that there is aluminium carb carbide which is Al4C3 and it reacts readily with aqueous NaOH. So the question is, uh, let's write uh, and try and construct the equation. You have Al4C3 and it reacts readily with NaOH. And uh, the other thing is the two products of the reaction are NaLO2 and a hydrocarbon. So NaLO2 is formed plus a hydrocarbon and we are not sure what the formula of the hydrocarbon is. So let's call that C6HY. A hydrocarbon only contains hydrogen and carbon. And the other thing is that water molecules are also involved as reactants. So we must add water in, your, in my reactants. They are involved in reactants. So these are my products. So this is my balanced, uh, not my balance, but my reaction. And he's asking us to find what is the formula of the hydrocarbon. So we need to find what the formula of the hydrocarbon is. And the only way, there's no other information given. So the only way you can do this is by balancing this reaction. So if you try to balance this reaction, uh, you notice uh, that there are four aluminiums over here. So there should, there's only one aluminium over, over on the other side. So we must balance uh, aluminiums. So that should be four molecules of NaLO2. But then that would make it equal to four sodiums. Four NaLO2 contain four sodiums, so there should be four sodiums on the other side as well. So there should be four molecules of NaOH. Now Na and Al are balanced. Uh, what we need to balance now is, is the amount of oxygen. Or what we can do, we've already, we already know what how many oxygens we have on the right hand side. There are two in one molecule, so there are four molecules so that means that we have eight oxygens on the right hand side so there should be eight oxygens on the left hand side four over here so there's only one so there should be at least four oxygens over here only then would this uh, reaction be balanced so let's check that carefully the two oxygens so that's a total of eight oxygens the four oxygens over here in this molecule 4h2o four oxygens in NaOH so oxygen is balanced Four aluminiums, four aluminiums, that's also balanced. Na is also balanced. Now we come to the last part, that which is uh, balancing carbon and hydrogen. Because if we try and balance the carbons and the hydrogens, we would be able to figure out the formula of the hydrocarbon. So let's balance the carbon and hydrogen. There are three carbons over here. So there should be three carbons in this hydrocarbon. So I know that there should be three carbons in this hydrocarbon to balance the reaction. And we can count the hydrogens now. There are four hydrogens over here and eight over here. So that's a total of 12 hydrogens. So there are no hydrogens over here. So there should be 12 hydrogens in this molecule. So whatever the hydrocarbon, there should be 12 hydrogens in this molecule. So one obvious choice for the hydrocarbon is that the hydrocarbon contains C3 and there are 12 hydrogens. That would completely balance the reaction and the equation. But there's one thing fishy about this uh, molecule because generally uh, a hydrocarbon doesn't contain that many hydrogens in an organic molecule. So let's try and see if that is an option. If you look at the four options, this option is not given. But instead what you're given is uh, CH4. Now if you think carefully, what you would notice is that if you have a molecule of CH4, but you have three molecules of CH4, then that would be equal to, that would give us how many carbons? It's going to give us three carbons and it's going to give us 12 hydrogens. So that's the amount that we needed. So instead of having one molecule of C3H12, we actually might have three molecules of CH4 and then the reaction would be perfectly balanced. So instead of CXHY, what we can write is in the equation, if we have three molecules of CH4, then our equation would be perfectly balanced with three molecules of CH4. We're going to have three carbons and we're going to have 12 hydrogens. So the answer is CH4. It's not C3H12. This was the tricky part. Most of the people would come up with C3H12 very, very easily, but they would forget that if you think of CH4 as being three molecules of CH4, you're going to get the exact same number of carbons and the exact same number of hydrogens. So the answer to this question is, because C3H12 is obviously missing, 
So the answer to this question is CH4. The hydrocarbon must have the formula CH4 uh, because three molecules of CH4 would perfectly balance our reaction that we constructed over here.